radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. I'm super excited to get into today's video because today we are doing a pick a card on what is going on in love this week. So before we get started, um, you can reach me on Etsy in the description below if you would like your own private tarot reading for your protection. That's the only place, the only way you can get a private reading from me. Like this video please, subscribe to my channel and check me out uh, also in the description on my completely free radio show. We pull cards for every zodiac sign, we listen to music over there. And it is a vibe. Other than that, you guys, we're just going to get into the piles today. So we have group one with citrine, group two with the pink stone, group three with the yellow stone, and group four with the red stone. And you can pick more than one pile. Pause the video if you need to. But most importantly, just take three deep mindful breaths, send to yourself, send to your intuition, and then pick the pile or the piles that you're being called to. And we're just going to get started. All right, group one with the citrine, let's get right into it, okay? What is going on this week for love for you guys? So the first card that we have, ooh, okay, let's get into it. That was under your stone is time to make a demonstration. Time to make a demonstration. Time to show people who you are. Show people that you have other options. Show people that you're committed. Show people where you stand. If you're standing on the side of the fence where it's like, listen, I have other options. I can pursue them. Or this is the truest version of me. Stand in that. Show that. Be honest about that. <coughs> oh, wow, you guys. We have, it's not as if you need anyone and sometimes the good is hidden. So sometimes the positivity that can be seen in a situation is hidden. It's hidden under the domino effect that kind of has to happen before it can occur. This is giving me a very nervous energy just because it's like, I can feel the chaos kind of building up. It's a good kind of chaos, to be honest, because it's someone putting respect on their own name. Like, listen, this is who I am. This is what I deserve. And this is what I'm going to do because it seems like you're missing the point. I have my phone over here. I just wanted to make sure it was on silent. Um, so we have honor thyself and those you love, love you. There's those. So it's like an energy of, listen, whoever's going to rock with you is going to rock with you and whoever isn't, isn't. But at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to honor yourself. It's your responsibility to show people. I just heard what they're missing. I feel like that was someone's inner dialogue though. Um, yeah, it's up to you to show people like how to treat you. Also, I'm getting an energy of someone who's having issues with someone that they're dating and it's like they're not really wanting to court you. Like the courting process, they kind of just want to get to the point. They want to get to the point where you're super intimate with each other and you may be the type of person who has to be intellectually stimulated before you're going to want to get intimate with anyone um, or like whatever your own reasoning is for it. But it's like someone kind of just wants to jump to like all the benefits of having a partner without that title or, you know, they want all your time, they want all your energy, but they're still not like saying what they need to say they're not making that full commitment so for one it's confusing and then for two it's like no Um, but okay, so to finish that thought, honor thyself though is an energy about like taking yourself on dates, showing them, listen, I can do this for myself. I don't need you to pay my rent. I don't need you to entertain me. I can entertain myself. I can pay my own rent. I can pay my own bills. And if you're looking to another person to do all of those things for you, then that may be the root of the problem that, you know, you got to set your life up for happiness, whether someone's in or out, because at the end of the day, we all grow and evolve and you can be in a committed relationship and still get dropped like a hat. <clears throat> So um, you got to set your life up to where you can still be happy and secure and not like codependent on someone. But um, time to make a demonstration. Okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to be honest. This is an energy of showing someone what they lack and, and kind of a little bit of making someone jealous here. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and we have the Eight of Cups. So I'm not going to say that the universe is saying, oh yeah, make them jealous. That's what you need to do. But, you know, <laughs> it's... It's, I don't know, like we live in a universe where unfortunately not everything is love and light. So sometimes just so people can understand like the truth of the situation, like I'm gorgeous, 
I value myself. I can do everything that I want you to do for me, but I want to share these things with someone. So I'm gonna need you to come harder. Like at the end of the day, sometimes you do have to kind of play a little bit of hardball. That's just the reality of the situation. Like in a perfect world, yeah, we could just love each other and it could be romantic. Even in the Disney movies, they'd be dealing with some BS. Like, sure, it has a happy ending, but girl yes okay so anyways we got the four of cups in reverse and the hair of fan in reverse so this is definitely a very neutral energy and this is an energy of almost acting a little aloof like i see someone kind of really doing their own thing it reminds me of those like tiktoks where you hear um where you hear like if you've ever seen it there's like a tiktok going around where it's like you can hear the dude in the bathroom background like ah <laughs> like crying and then like there's like a caption on it where it's like when you finally decide to do him how he does you it's giving me very much unbothered it's giving me very much so that energy where it's like you know someone's really trying to do their same old antics to get your attention and you're just not going for it you're doing your own thing you're treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated the way you want to be treated and you're kind of living your life and walking away from a situation i honestly don't feel completely but um you are willing to i feel and we have the seven of swords in reverse and the hermit eight of swords in reverse you got to get yourself out of this confinement got to get yourself out of this energy where it's like you're not being appreciated not being taken care of even if this is like you swiping on the dating apps you're getting off the dating dating apps and you're starting to date yourself <coughs> Which is funny because you'll probably end up meeting someone since you're actually going out and about looking cute and like going out versus just trying to have someone. Do not let these dudes, do not let these girls, do not let these people corner you in your house and make you like their little house person. Absolutely not. Like if you don't know me, we're not just going to be chilling up on my house like all day every day. We're not chilling at my house at all you're not you don't get that luxury do not let people do you like that where it's like the only thing that you get to do is be up under their funky ass house please and i'm rude i ain't even gonna hold you like i would be like this <laughs> i will get you i will get you all the way together because don't i don't even like being in people's dirty ass cars like i will really get on your ass for a dirty car but anyways yeah, Eight of Swords in Reverse is just like an energy of untangling yourself. Seven of Swords in Reverse, you just can't deal with this anymore. Even like I said, if it's just like an energy of you swiping on the apps and people just aren't respecting you, your time, you know, maybe canceling on you, not really wanting to take you anywhere nice, kind of just wanting to like, oh, let's, I mean, coffee dates are cute. I actually went on a coffee date like not too long ago. Coffee dates are cute, but um, mm, mm, I don't know, like this is, this is not that. This is like an energy of someone wanting all of this commitment from you without even really knowing you and if you're looking at them like i don't even know if i want you in my future like and you're trying to be in my bed please yeah so we have and it's just all a distraction it's just all a distraction because we have soulmate and the real thing here so all of the extra characters in your story are just miniature lessons. It reminds me of like, I'm getting this image of um, the yellow brick road. Like it's just like another lesson, another thing that you have to learn on your journey, but not meant to be like the, it's not the end. And, and um, like returning back home to Kansas, that's where she was from, right? <laughs> Ciao. It's been a long time, but um, like, you know, going back home is just symbolism for like, okay, going back within and spending time with yourself and honoring yourself and doing all these things for yourself because it should never be looked at for another person. It would be a luxury if you could meet a person who's on that same wave, but I feel like you just haven't. And it's time to stop fighting the journey on this. We got friends with benefits and clean the clutter. So the universe is saying, get all of these people out of the way who don't want to honor you or who don't want to take you seriously, take the situation seriously and just start to, you know, do for yourself. We have speak your mind and gossip. So maybe you've heard something about someone and you should have, you know, really went with that. Some things that you hear about people aren't true, but, um, for some of you like you knew this person was a player beforehand and now you're seeing that so it's time to just disengage and then we have speak your mind so don't be afraid to let people know like this is the reason why i'm closing you out of my life or i'm moving on just so you can you know know that you did your part you said what you were supposed to say or needed to say and then we have fun times with friends so it's just in your better interest to prioritize relationships with people 
who are more friends and who have more to offer you right now than romantic connections make a demonstration and like i said i really feel like you're going to end up meeting someone along your journey with this this current energy is not it so that's what i got for you guys check me out in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading like this video please subscribe to my channel and also check out my free radio show in the description that was your pile i'll talk to you later tune into my radio show where i pull cards and play all the bangers on station head in the description all right group two with the pink stone let's get right into it okay this week in love so the first card that we have that was under your stone is things are not as they appear so there are some things getting revealed this week and it could be in your favor it could be you know revealing truth but things are not as they appear so let's see what we get I just heard you thought something of someone it was untrue and now I'm hearing um what is that song mm -hmm. You know, it's a Drake song, but um, I don't know. I don't even want to go over the lyric because I like I half remember it. <clears throat> He's like, "What you thought of me?" Mm, some, 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 some. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't want to do it. That's just a view from a cheap seat. Da -da 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 -da. But anyways, let's see what else we got here. So, okay. Oof. Okay, so we have there's a deeper reason for each of the questions. Seek it and do something new, something different. So the universe is also kind of nudging you to, you know, find this truth and discover this truth. This isn't necessarily something that's just going to fall in your lap. This may be something that you find through looking through someone's social media, through asking someone, you know, through looking where whatever way you got to do it. But um, to be honest, I do feel like it's necessary for the situation because to some degree, I do feel like you wanted to already do this for a while. And it's just like taking the wool, um, you know, off of your eyes and allowing yourself to really see the truth of the situation by getting down to it. So some of you, to be honest, this isn't something that's just going to kind of randomly fall into your lap this is something that you're gonna have to seek but it will be worth it because you're gonna get the answers that you're looking for the universe says there's a deeper reason for each of the questions that you have seek it and do something new something different so maybe you're not the type to go through someone's phone I don't recommend going through someone's phone to be honest you're gonna find what you're looking for and you're gonna make it a lot worse in your head than it is but you know if it's a situation where it's like you're ready for that wool to be lifted from your eyes if you suspect like your partner is cheating or something like that find out that they are so you can get up out of there you know like at the end of the day it's always your choice but <clears throat> we have don't be misled and you will be surprised this could be positive, this could be negative. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. You could find out that someone likes you a lot more than they lead on. And the universe is telling you to be maybe a little sneaky to get that answer. I'm, I'm tapping into an energy of someone who has a work bay. And you're getting a lot of mixed signals from them. But at the same time, you don't know, no. So I'm, I'm getting like this energy of maybe you'll benefit from reaching out like to their, their friend, their, you know, best friend, work friend, whatever. And seeing like, hey, is that person ever mentioned me like low key? <laughs> like, I don't know. There's really no way you can be super low key about that. And I personally don't like to get too many people involved. Like... In romantic situations at all so yeah but don't be misled you will be surprised that's definitely an energy of the universe saying in order to know the truth you have to see it and if you go through outside sources including like games of telephone asking other people you could be misled don't even put yourself in that position we have I go where you go and, and dwell on what you love. So the universe is saying, you know, dwell on what you love. If you love this person, if you have good ideas about this person, you, you get a good vibe from this person, dwell on that. Don't immediately assume the absolute worst. But like I said, you know, there's definitely a truth here kind of wanting to be revealed. I go where you go is also like an energy of someone not wanting to leave a situation. So I feel like in order to get to the next level, you just kind of need some, ex like something needs to be exposed. Like the truth kind of just needs to be, we need to tap into the truth. That's just it, you know? And it's like a lot of people don't understand if you can just be honest with them, 
a lot of people will accept you as you are like no one is perfect a lot of people accept flaws i accept i've accepted so many flaws in my past partners <clears throat> It's not about perfection, it's just about truth a lot of the time because a lot of things can be worked on. <clears throat> wow. Tapping in here, you're also finding out that someone is a lot more hurt from something of the past or something that you did, something that you said. Someone is a, was a lot more hurt by it than they led on. And it's starting to be revealed that the reason you guys have such an awkward energy now or you've been going tit for tat is stemming way back to that one thing. I've had that happen to me. I said some something to someone five years ago. I, I literally said to my best friend, her boyfriend, at the time, they're not together anymore, but I said to him, what did you do to her to make her like you? Which I know is a really mean thing to say, but I said it in a joking way, and I was just like, dude, what did you do to make her like you? Because it was just like, she was such a diamond and he was just like such an f boy and i was like ew like what did you do this man just told me last year or maybe two years ago at this point that that still affected him there had been a like a they'd been dating for five years and she told me like yeah he would always bring it up in arguments like your friends don't like me your friends don't even know how you even got they don't think shit of me and i was just like oh things can stick with people though i say all that to say like watch what you freaking say your words matter that tore me up for so long that i had that kind of impact on someone i was like wow you really need to pay attention to the things you say it's not just all banter like people have feelings yada 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 um but yeah you guys like you'd be surprised like how something so small and just like a mindless moment something you just randomly da -da 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 said running your mouth can affect someone so i am picking up on like tit for tat happened at some point here group two and somebody could not handle it and they are still kind of sitting with that it's still sitting with them so we have the seven of wands in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse so it's kind of like we you haven't been able to build after that point towards something substantial because that heartache had never been addressed or <coughs> whatever happened i just heard it's time to make amends as well you hurt someone's feelings it's time to make amends even if they did something first i feel like both of you um oh wow this is so interesting because i flipped it more upwards but the lovers came out and it was sideways and i don't typically read cards sideways i live i typically turn them like clockwise but it really did come out sideways because i feel like this is an opportunity like will we grow will we move forward or will we end this like it can move forward or it can come to an end so it's kind of like up in the air what will happen moving moving from here but nine of pentacles in reverse king of pentacles in reverse this is a huge blow to ego this is a huge blow to self as well like someone's self-esteem and how they feel so i definitely feel like um someone's feelings was were hurt somewhere along the way <laughs> i should have took that let me the fork in the road card wanted to come out. Yeah, it's going to be work though. It's going to be work though. At the bottom of the deck, we have not for you. And then we have <clears throat> chop wood, co-create, and fork in the road. So it's kind of like a moment of saying, okay, what are we going to do? Are we going to move forward? Are we going to chop wood? Are we going to work together? Are we going to co-create? Fork in the road, if you've ever heard that saying, it's basically like when you're at a standstill, you're at a fork in a road, like what direction are you going to go? So I feel like that will be addressed this week. A lot of hurt, a lot of pain from the past. This can be done on an internal level as well. It doesn't have to be reflected in another person. Um, but tapping into this energy, you will know like by the end of you know this time what you're going to do here with this person with the situation so that's what i have for you guys check me out on etsy if you'd like your own private tarot reading like this video please subscribe to my channel and check out my free radio show also in the description um i love you and that was your pile i'll talk to you later tune into my radio show where i pull cards and play all the bangers on station head in the description all right, group three with the Yellowstone. Let's get right into it. Okay, what is going on this week and love for you guys? So the first card that we have that was under your stone 
is they chose you. They chose you. So there's that. I get like all the feels with that card. It's such a romantic card. So let's see what else we get. <clears throat> if you're in a third party situation, I'm sensing that things may actually work out in your favor here, which is really good, really exciting. Ooh, some of you decided to walk away from a situation because maybe someone wasn't choosing you at one point or at some point like they either had cold feet or an energy of them just kind of being unsure even if there was no one else in the picture that they would rather do this thing called life with <laughs> wow wow so we have convinced yourself not others and that you have options is meaningful rock on so the universe is saying listen you have options you know practice what you preach but don't be stubborn about this especially if there was a blow to the ego at some point with someone that you were dealing with the fact that you have options is meaningful you know do your thing but convince yourself that you're happy pursuing other options not other people you know, you don't gotta, don't take this opportunity of someone being vulnerable to stunt on them and let them know all the options you got. Like, just go and be happy on your own. You don't need to go tell them, yeah, I would rather go pursue other options. Like, just go and say, you know, I'm not interested, you know, dealing with this. This isn't what I want here. Um, and, and, you know, move on. Oh my goodness. We have earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way and most people are just trying to survive. So to be honest, girly, to be honest, boy, to be honest, my friend, you're thriving. You're doing great, bestie. Bestie is such a universal, like, gender neutral term, isn't it? <laughs> but anyways, you guys are really doing great. Like tapping into this energy, the universe is saying, listen, earlier disappointments were essentially lessons that you needed to learn to get you prepared for the great stuff coming your way or the romantic, the perfect version of, you know, a romantic relationship that you've actually wanted here. Most people are just trying to survive. You finally got a hold on yourself. You're finally, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're finally, um, thriving. That's the word. <laughs> Um, and you know, you're in this happy, good, content space. However, don't feel like, you know, being a bad this can't still happen if you're in a relationship because there's someone here that wants you. Okay. I'm gonna just put it like that. Let me speed through the rest of these so we can get some tarot. A lot of these came out for you. Ugh. we have, I go where you go and forgive. So if someone did something to you, you guys, definitely try to forgive them. I go where you go lets me know that they've made their decision now. And everyone deserves the right to decide and, and take time to say what's right for them. A lot of people just want to jump headfirst into something. A lot of people just want people to do the absolute most for them before they even know if they want to see them again. Like a lot of people don't understand that. It takes time for people to want to invest in you. Investment should happen over time. Otherwise, you'll end up trapped with someone who you think cares about you but doesn't. They just knew how to make you feel away in the beginning and then you'll be the goofy and it's like don't do yourself like that like this whole apply pressure is so ridiculous because it's so like it's you're, you're just gonna trap yourself with someone you don't even want to be honest because they applied pressure um but anyways this person decided what they want to do so you know go ahead and try to forgive them we have love is the reason and hubba hubba so you can definitely have a heated romance with this person coming up and then we have enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness and do something new, something different. <coughs> so this is almost a challenge from the universe to be more authentic. This is a challenge from the universe to, um, you know, like tap into who you truly are and show this person who you truly are to let them in, let them in. I feel like I'm dealing with some, um, some of y'all in group three, y'all a little hard headed. Y'all done been through a lot. So now you're getting in your own way. And I do it all the time. I work a lot. So a lot of times I'm honestly in my divine masculine energy. So these poor people that want to date me out here like really don't stand a chance. I'm definitely somewhat of a man eater. Not even going to hold you. And I kind of resonate with this energy. I feel it. But let them in, you guys. They're choosing you. I feel like it's the fact that maybe they were 
playing around before or they didn't choose you before mm, didn't make may really made you feel the way and also for those of you who are completely single this may be like a string of people or third party situations or what have you um that you've experienced where it's like now you're just in this energy where it's like i want to do for me i'm number one and that's all true but forgive those people of the past because they're bleeding into your future because i am picking up on an energy that's coming in that's choosing you wanting to be with you wanting to offer you like the utmost and you kind of for all the wrong reasons pushing them away it's not because you're just not feeling them it's not because they're not a good option it's not because you're not attracted to them it's literally like just like a kind of a buildup of of some things of the past yeah we have yeah 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 oh wow Oof. we have the queen of wands in reverse and the king of swords so this is telling me a story here there was definitely a divine masculine um who may have kind of really destroyed you with that king of swords or that could be your energy it's just a lot of walls to break down queen of wands in reverse though definitely makes me feel like a passionate divine feminine was taken as someone who was just overly emotional and treated like a child almost like treated like like someone just completely misunderstood you they took it all wrong and it's like i'm passionate about you because you're saying this and this and this to me and so i'm feeling away now and now all of a sudden that i feel away now you're backing away and yeah that's making me uncomfortable and i just want to fix this because it's like whoa, whoa, whoa what was all that you said the day before you know and so it, it really kind of created this mistrust it's like people sending so many mixed signals to you over time really kind of changed you i think um so we have the chariot in reverse and the page of cups in reverse being at a standstill though because you do still need to clear out the past um i've personally done a, a cord cutting ceremony uh between me and the older version of myself i felt guided to do that maybe that's something that you want to do since i'm saying it since it's you know popping up in my mind but um, I have done rituals to kind of kill off the older version of myself, to be honest, like, because baby had to get out of her own way and I couldn't carry that weight of that, that hurt person with me no more. And, um, that's just something that I chose to do. It doesn't mean that it's going to resonate with you or that it's even the best thing to do, but maybe that's something that someone wants to try. So we have the King of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. <laughs> I feel like you guys are looking for a very specific person moving forward, which, you know, no, no problem with that. That's actually a good thing. But I feel like you have a shot at having something like that, but energetically you're closed off to it. I don't even think you would recognize it if what you truly want and need was right in front of you because of all of these illusions and maybe assumptions that you have of who's available out there maybe you would doubt that anyone has the ability to do this so you're kind of like in the safety net of always kind of looking for it or, or or growing and expanding yourself and working on bettering yourself so you can be in alignment with it when really it's presented itself to you and you can't even see it or you've just dismissed this person um five of cups in reverse seven of swords oof Six of Swords, the universe is saying, get out of your own way now so that you can move forward. And that's what I got for you, group three. Check me out on Etsy if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and also check out my free radio show in the description. That was your pile. I'll talk to you later. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. All right, group four with the redstone. Let's get right into it. What is going on in love for you guys this week? So... The first card that we have that was under your stone is there isn't a soul on this planet who doesn't crave your approval. Wow. So tapping into this energy, you guys, someone is definitely really craving you, really craving your attention. And I'm getting this image of someone looking through a window like at you not in a creepy way but just kind of it like screaming at the window like on a jail phone <laughs> it's getting more and more specific as it like comes through and it's like you're sitting there kind of with the smirk on your face i don't know it's it's basically like an energy of someone trying to get through to you someone trying to control you from the outside and it's just like you're so solid inside that people just can't shake you like that anymore they just can't they just can't they can't do that anymore and it's like you're looking at people nowadays not appreciating appreciating okay get off the apps i just heard <laughs> okay someone's guide is coming through super strong relax 
um but they're saying get off the apps that was a message for like one person specific you've already wanted to get off the apps for a long time you may have just re-got on the apps get off the dating apps get off that's not free that's not going to lead you to anything that's not going to get you respected they're saying and now they're just going off <laughs> but um so anyways yeah what was i saying before yeah but it's like this energy of um okay so you're you're having these new people kind of come into your life and you are like seeing how they're trying to talk to you and 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 how they're treating you and you're like first of all this reminds me of someone that is not that is not cute for you to be acting like my karmic um that i've already grown and learned from you can't try that with me i've already learned that lesson buster you can get to step in um very ghetto and second of all it's just like you're kind of proud of yourself as well because you're like you know what i probably would have fallen for that before someone comes through they try to tell me about myself i probably would have tried to prove them no that's not who i am i'm this way or i i have all this and this and this and, and this to offer but you're just not doing that these days you're like i know what i have to offer you know what are you what are you bringing to the table what are you gonna do Oh wow. You guys have a lot going on. I don't even know what I want to start with. Let's start with these two. We have your treasure is at hand and you're being watched by loving eyes. So the person that you're looking for that would complete you, the person that you're seeking is already in your energy field. You can feel them. They can feel you. There's going to be a connection made soon, if not already. This would be like a newer energy, though. This isn't a karmic. This isn't someone you've dated for a while. This isn't someone you've talked to romantically really at all. This is completely new energy. It does feel like for the most of you, but take it as it resonates. You'll see as the reading unfolds what messages are for you. Um... <clears throat> But your treasure is at hand. Either someone has noticed you on social media and they're about to shoot their shot, or you know they're kind of just watching you and observing you and enjoying you and kind of like what you display, and they're getting really excited. It's kind of like I don't know. It's kind of like TV. I'm feeling. Um, and then we have, you have what it takes. So definitely stick to your originality. You have what it takes to be in a relationship. You have what it takes to call a. To, um, what's the word I'm looking for you have what it takes to have a romantic partner like <clears throat> be interested in you that actually has something to offer you you know you have a really high value um, and then we have love is never in vain and you are destined for greatness in the wings on the wings of love so this is like an energy love is never in vain the universe is saying listen everything that you went through was not for no reason it has literally prepared you to get to this place because especially like for an example say you want to be a housewife or say you want to stay at home with the kids you want to have kids you just want to stay at home you want to be a housewife in that dynamic it can be very very easy to first of all it takes the right kind of like breadwinner to have that dynamic because not everyone is meant to have that dynamic because you should respect the the homemaker the person at home i mean just as they sh you're on the same level but um say you want to be a housewife right if you haven't been through all of this and you didn't have a strong sense of self and you didn't know your role you didn't know how valuable you were your partner comes home they get to yelling or treating you bad or asking you why this and this and this isn't done you may fold and just get the cleaning and look at a mess and then bust it wide open for them that night you know but because you know yourself you're not you're gonna tell him listen sir you can sleep on the couch and get in his ass <laughs> me and these examples today i'm so i'm in such a random mood to be honest <clears throat> but um yeah you guys like if you hadn't learned everything that you learned up until this point, you wouldn't be in a position to handle the caliber of a relationship because even if you're in a relationship with like the perfect dynamic that you want, if you allow someone to get away with something, they're going to. Best case scenario, you meet someone who truly loves you and truly wants to be with you and shows you that every day, but we all have our weaknesses. And... Um, you know, people can succumb to negative energy all the time. So people may end up mistreating you even if they love you. Like, it's a complicated thing, love. But what I'm saying, you guys get it. You had to learn that for a reason. 
love is never in vain don't feel like you wasted your time because that's what you had to have and let me say not everyone even gets this kind of higher level of connection now this is what's interesting to me we have the death card the justice in reverse and the lovers oh wow that's so beautiful look at this lovers card right here you see hold on let me get it to focus you see how she's looking at herself in the mirror on this card and she found herself we read for energy not gender here but this is just such a beautiful energy because the true testament to the lovers is having love for yourself and then having that love reflected back to you through another person <sighs> It's just so beautiful, you guys. You've done so much work on yourself and it really wasn't all for nothing. We have the Justice card in reverse. You got the short end of the stick. Someone really played you. Like someone really played you or took advantage of you. It's right there. Justice in reverse and then it was just all ended. So it's like you even had to carry the weight of all the healing and the growth and the everything that comes after a relationship ending and they may have just ended it like by ghosting or just completely banana splitting on your ass. And now, you found yourself through that experience though. So it's very bittersweet and it's very heartwarming. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Emperor. A true divine masculine on their way to you, a true divine masculine that wants to be with you and share their everything with you, that wants to gift you with their love because their love is a gift because like i said they are a reflection of you just like your love anyone would be lucky to have your energy and attention Whew, this person is really a gift they will really show you what love is about they will really show you what love is about and i'm so happy for you guys it was definitely a long time coming though and it took a long time to get here you guys did not have an easy route we got the Five of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands. You had to heal from your mistakes, forgive yourself for your mistakes, and you're just kind of open to, it's it's kind of like an energy of may the best man or woman win, may the best person win, like, you know, <clears throat> because you're not specifically saying, okay, this is the way things have to go down now, this is the way my life has, has to go. It's kind of like a sweet, sweet surrender that you have here going on um that has put you in the very best position for the very best like wow you guys this is crazy we got the skunk spirit at the bottom of this card it says know your worth that is exactly what we've been talking about this entire spread <clears throat> and now people want to please you now people want your approval now people want to know and, and feel like you're, you know, pleased by them and feel like you're getting what you need from them. Sorry guys, I don't know why I'm, the words are so hard to come out. We have Chameleon Spirit and the Bee Spirit, cool. Like I said, Chameleon Spirit, spirit at the bottom of that card, it says act as if. At the bottom of the B Spirit card, it says sweet results await. So the universe is saying act like, you know, you already have the life that you want to you wanna have. And then Grasshopper Spirit, once the opportunity comes at the bottom of that one, it says take a leap of faith. So yeah, you guys, you guys had the best spread out of the entire day and I filmed, I filmed a couple videos today. So check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check out my free radio show also in the description. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one. Tune into my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.